I titled this video was Bruce Lee was he murdered by Linda Lee um, this is a controversial video um, I just wanted to share the idea because this is what I heard from somebody um, and they said that it was in this book that was written now, I just wanted to present the idea of what I heard. This is the first time I ever heard this in my life. And, um, just present the idea. So, I've read a few books where they said that he had some type of allergic reaction to marijuana. Shit, quiet. And that, um,. That, that pretty much caused him to almost die, but they were able to resuscitate him. And they told him, hey, you know, don't ever do that again. Don't ever eat those marijuana cookies because your body is not responding to that the proper way. And basically the idea presented is that they were saying, the book was saying, supposedly the book was saying that Linda Lee knew about Bruce Lee's affair with that Chinese actress and basically she was the one that was responsible for making him those hashish cookies or whatever the case may be and that she is the one who um, made the cookies in a way to, to end his life. And that's the first time that I ever heard that, ever. But when I think about it, that is possible. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, if they're married and she has the rights to all his money, but then she knows, you know, she has the rights to all his money if they're, you know, if he passes away. And if she knows that he's having an affair with another woman and potentially he's planning to leave her, divorce her for this new woman, then she will no longer have control over his wealth. And a solution would be to potentially set up his death as if it's an accident. But in actuality, um, she could have poisoned him through the cookies to kill him and then pretty much be in the position that she's in right now which is control of all his money and his wealth and it is also said that Brandon Lee, Bruce Lee's son was saying that he was planning to investigate the father or the death of his father and when he made that statement um, he ends up getting shot and killed on set so potentially she could have maybe arranged that as well in order to hide the facts coming out that she was the one who killed Bruce Lee. Um, I mean, I know this is far out there and it, 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 it's, it's almost wrong to say it, to even pass this maybe rumor on, but if you think about it, it's something that is a possibility that that could have happened. If you think about the circumstances, you know, think about how certain women could be when their lover cheats on them or their lover chooses to leave them for somebody else. And also think about the circumstances of all the money involved. And also look at how all the money did transfer onto her and she has complete rights over everything that he had. You know, all his writings, his books, and she's, you know, making money off his books, making money off his, his movies, and she has full control of all of it. 
and you know just think about it in this sense you know say you know you're married to somebody who has a, a, a 300 million dollar life insurance and if he passes away you get 300 million dollars and that's more than enough motive you know motivation to want to kill somebody because you're gonna get 300 million dollars and it's you know I know that it could be disrespectful to even mention something like this but at the same time I mean it it's an it's an, a theory that does really make sense to me I mean it's something that can happen and it's st stuff like that does happen you know and that's the first time that I that anybody has ever mentioned that to me ever and I never even thought about that but that is something you know that potentially could have happened and and not only could have happened but in, without regards to Bruce Lee specifically this stuff does happen in real life where you know your own wife is the one who ends up killing you and now all the money that you accumulated all the fame that you had gets controlled by this individual and um now it's just Linda Lee and Shannon Lee that are in control of the entire Bruce Lee estate. Bruce Lee and his son Brandon Lee are the ones that are dead. And, you know, that is definitely something that, um, That's a, it was a big eye opener to me to even hear about that because stuff like that happens you know you know because they're saying the, the accusations are saying that hey you know potentially maybe the, the mistress is the one that killed him right and then there's there's theories saying that the the mafia killed him, you know. And then there's the whole thing about the allergic reaction to the swelling of the brain and all this stuff. They said they said that the mistress was the one who gave him the medication, but actually it could have been Linda that gave him the medication, knowing that he was gonna get an allergic reaction, knowing that he was gonna die, knowing that he's already has a mistress, knowing that he's planning to potentially get a divorce, knowing that he's gonna leave her with the children, or maybe take all the money and take both the children and just, maybe that was her um, solution, you know, to, to get rid of him. So then now, she has the two children, she has all the money, has all the control, and then as soon as Brandon Lee said that he was going to investigate to see what, how his father died, she may be gotten in fear that, she, that he would find out and then she ended up getting him executed as well. Um, I mean... I've never thought of that, i never read about that, but I heard somebody tell me just the other day that that's what they read in a book. And, um, sounds kind of logical, I'm not saying that's what happened, but that could be lumped together with all the other theories of, you know, why he passed away or how he passed away. He, him passing away and in addition, his son passing away. You know. Um, the 
Did you even know that movie Godfather? It's an example. I know it's just a movie, but stuff like that happens where somebody betrays the family and then Al Pacino is taken over to be the Godfather and he ends up killing his own brother. And you see that stuff happen. You know, even in the movie um, Gladiator with Russell Crowe, you see that guy, you know, the king, wanted to, you know, he knew that his own son was not qualified to be the next king. So he wanted to give Maximus the power to be the next king. And then the son was jealous and he didn't want that. So the son ended up killing the father to become the king. So even in the movie, that's what happened. And stuff like that does happen in real life. So just think about the situation. Linda Lee, you know, being married to Bruce Lee, knowing that he's having an affair, knowing that he's in love with another woman, knowing that he wants to get a divorce. And then the pain inside that she feels could be motivation to get rid of him so that she could be in the exact position that she is in right now. Married to somebody else, having all the money from all his books, his movies, his t-shirts, all of that. Her and her daughter taking control of the entire Bruce Lee while executing the father, executing Bruce Lee, executing um, the son, Brandon Lee. You know, I hope that's not what happened, but it's at least something to think about. You know, something to present. You know, as far as the speculations of what really happened. You know. <coughs> and we're still trying to figure out who killed Tupac. You know, we don't know who killed Tupac. We don't know the real story behind how Bruce Lee died. You know, but there's a lot of corruption in this world. You know, and um, a lot of it is motivated by money. You know, so even Shannon Lee is like really buddy-buddy with um, Dana White, Donna White, UFC, and putting Bruce Lee in the UFC game and like, you know, Bruce Lee's a Chinese man. And then they try to turn him into a white man, replace him with Conor McGregor, you know. And that's how the Chinese culture gets um, destroyed, obli obliterated. Kill the Chinese man and just take his money and um, praise him respect him after he's dead so you can continue to make money off of him for yourself you know what I mean like don't respect him when he's living respect him when he's dead because when you respect him when he's dead you can make money off of him you know so even with this new Tupac movie coming out or that's already out you wonder where the money's going Tupac's dead his mom is dead so all the money that's being made from this movie, who is it going to? You know, essentially it could be going to towards the enemies of Bruce or the enemies of Tupac. It could be going towards the people that killed Tupac. You know, there's, there's you know the way the corruption in this world works. You know, people will kill you with a smile. And then they'll respect you after you're dead so that they can make money off of your death. Act as if they, they love you when in actuality they hate you. You know what I mean? Like the, there's a lot of corruption in this world. And um... If you have some intelligence, sometimes you could, um, you could, you could expose this corruption.
but something to think about, you know, something to think about. So you don't know who you can trust. You really don't. You just really don't. If Linda Lee or Shannon Lee is watching this video themselves, I'm sorry to present the idea, but at the same time, you know, you both, you know, have millions of dollars and I'm sure you'll get over it, you know what I mean? Like, being rich and famous and everybody knows your name and you have all this money, you know, it's expected that you're able to handle gossip and people you know, passing, passing along information that might not be true. You know, you know, I, I, I don't want this information to be true, but I think it's important to analyze, you know, all the, the potential possibilities of, you know, surrounding his death. You know, and this is definitely a possibility that I've never even thought about or nobody's ever even presented to me. You know, but I definitely think it's something worth thinking about and analyzing, you know. You know, as um, a big fan of Bruce Lee, as a supporter of Bruce Lee, as a supporter of truth, you know, I think um, people in power, pe great people have to be very careful you know, who they allow into their lives because a lot of times it's the woman that could destroy somebody great. You know, um, Tupac got put in jail because of a woman. Kobe Bryant got, you know, called into court, you know, or had to go to court over a woman. You know, and Malcolm, you know, um, Martin Luther King Jr. had, had it his challenges with dealing with his desires for women and you know I think a lot of times women are used as a very like, you know used as weapons against great men you know to, to kind of use them to to control dictate, um, even murder, you know, just think about it, you know, great martial artists, it would be hard to kill them, but if you use a woman to poison them, you could take them out, you know, put something in his drink, give him a pill, whatever the case may be. So I think, you know, just presenting the idea, you know, at least it could give some people uh, It'll give some people an idea of potentialities of things to watch out for if they ever get put in a position of power. You know, even uh, Bill Clinton got involved with the woman and that 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 completely destroyed his uh, reputation you know these these things you know have to be you know, contemplate you know if you're if you're gonna be a great leader you know you need to you need to watch out for these things you know even Bill Cosby look at what he's going through you know a lot of women accusing him of uh, rape um, there's a there's a yoga instructor who's very world famous. You know, um, he's the, the inventor of the hot yoga. Bikram is his name, I believe. Bikram Yoga. He's um, being accused of rape. 
and he's on the run. You know? So these are some things to think about. You know, as a man, you know, you gotta be careful. Especially if you got a lot of money, got a lot of fame, you gotta be very careful. Because uh, everything can come crashing down, you know, if, if you um, encounter the wrong woman. You know? But yeah, that's all I had to say about that, you know. Um, just something to think about.